So I'm, I'm wondering as, as theater and music theater and TV and what it gets, everything gets more and more technical, right? There's more and more technical. It used to be a room, a performer, an audience, and you had something, and now we start adding this and that little way, and then we add sound. And the technical that we get, you know, I go sit on a, in a makeup chair in a film set or whatever, and okay, they want my hair this way. Oh, they want my face this way. And I go, well, wait a minute. Yeah. What do you mean you want my hair that way? Well, that's why we do the hair. But yeah, but that's not the character. Uh, I'm working on the character. No, but we want your hair this way. So like the sound mixer, there's layers of people then before the, between the performer and the audience. Mm -hmm. So how do we deal with that? You know what? In the end, I mean, it's, it's a hierarchy and you buy into it when you say you're going to do that show. Uh, you agree that this person's going to direct and this person's going to choreograph and this person's going to do the sound design. And you can only do what you do. I mean, it's, it's kind of out of your hands up to a certain point. I mean, I still give the performance I give. Right. But my main concern always is how much amplification too, because that's what kind of changes the feel. What would you the prefer, less it. or more? Yeah, less, as little as possible. When it just feels more present, yep. then that's great. But when it's amplified, as I so often hear, you know, I go, oh my God. I know that's not what it sounds like. When I do concerts, I try, whenever I can, I do it acoustically, if it's at all possible in the hall. Oh my God. And that's a gift. That is the best. You and know what's exactly what they're getting over there. They're getting what I'm hearing. Exactly. But, you know, if you're doing a concert in a smaller, wonderful theater or concert hall yeah. or a church or, yeah. oh, my God, then that's heaven. Then that's, that's how I sound, you know? It's almost as the hall is, a perfor is part of the performance. Oh, my right? God. And if yeah. you do sound mix a certain way, you you bland out the hall. It could be any space. Sure, exactly. And sometimes I go and see pieces and I go, well, okay, so it's flat. Yeah. I, yeah, I hear everything, it's all loud and bang, bang, away we go, it's flat. I, have, yeah. I hear no dynamics, I hear no space out there. Well, that's the thing, but it depends, you know, who's playing. If there's a 17-piece orchestra or a five-piece rock band, then you have no choice but to jack up the singers because they're making a whole lot of noise and they're all amplified. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's a balance. Right. But yeah, you're kind of at their mercy, you know, as far as that goes. You do what you right. do and then it gets tweaked out there. So uh, you're at the mercy is another way of saying you're a cog on their wheel? Yeah. But hey. So when you did your own show, did you purposely hire, right, the, the, the mixer, the designers to fit your My little one-woman job? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was yeah. no mixer. Huh? There was no mixer, there was no mic, there, there was no pack? There was, did I have a microphone? Yes, I must, yes, I did, I did. But it was, oh my God, so hardly amplified because it was right. just piano. So both just a bit, but that was like, basically acoustic. 